out for this playoff series. Huge game for both teams. Let's drop the puck. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. The Lions gain control of the puck. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Trois Riviere's cut it along the wall. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Let's it fly, and he comes up with a stop there. Takes a shot, and he takes the pass. And he's knocked off the puck there. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Here's the pass in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Back to the point it goes. Puck grab by Askew. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes up the mark. Scrum along the boards. Sends it over to Martin. Handles the pass. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Feeds the puck to Kelmakov. Gain momentum up along the side. Trois Riviere's got the puck. Parker Jones gains the line and into the offensive zone. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Drills him. Here comes the official's call. He doesn't like the call, but it's the rest discretion, and he's going to the penalty box. The Mariners get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. For the scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Quick shot. Answers the call with a big save. Picked up along the wall by Gay. Puck dumped in. The Mariners have it against the wall. Maine's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Grabs it at his own end. Sterrett's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Another face-off looming here on this power play. The Mariners get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Askew. The Mariners looking against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Ducharme. Here's a shot. Oh, what an effort as he lays out for the block. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Boyer's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Borgard's almost back on the ice. Quick shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Nowhere for that shot to go through. She, he's looking around near the point. They are swimming around like bees here in the ozone. And there's a little physicality. Maine's hard work pays off as they get on the board first here tonight. Yeah, getting on the board first over halfway through the first period. And, you know, there hasn't been much going on here in this game. It's been back and forth, but it's starting to open up with this first goal. Got to hope that there's some more offense in this one. Sends it quickly to Horvath. Ducharme's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Here comes the official's decision. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty. So now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play is going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be to task. Oh, 
Trois Rivières' man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, a timely power play at this juncture of the game, James, to even it up. This is huge for this power play. Your big stars, they need to shine. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. And a successful clearing attempt. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Big stop right there. What a steal in his own end. Solid check to slow him down. And they move the puck out of harm's way. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Jostled off the puck. Trois Rivieres going on the attack as they gain the zone. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Lambert's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Trois Rivieres won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Up defensive play as he extends the stick. Maine's got the puck. And he sends it across to Peterson. Maine's got the puck along the wall. And that's broken up. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. once again send out their power play unit. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they gotta find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Coming to the front of the net. Trying to get back on the attack now. Trois Rivieres got the puck along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Starrett's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you have battle, when you have will your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. And he takes the dish. Ten seconds! Ten Peterson's seconds. penalty is almost expired. The Mariners gain possession of the defensive zone. Lowell's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. You've got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. The Mariners send their man advantage unit out once more. Sharks won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. They clear the zone. Maine's got a hold of it against the wall. Piles crossed the line and gained the zone. Quick shot! And it rings the post! The Mariners get some emotion from the bench as they look to extend their lead and hit the post now. Everyone thought it might have gone in, and then they realize it didn't. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Trois Rivieres, penalty killers get a hold of it. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Sends the feed in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Quick feed to Askew. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Got to give the penalty killers a lot of credit as the penalty expires. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and change the momentum of the game, and this one didn't do any of it, James. Certainly frustrated as they head back to the bench. Another scoring opportunity looms here. When the power play is struggling, you gotta get a screen in front, and it has to be with good timing and recognize when that shot is coming. 
Here's a short pass to Mary Say Ortiz. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. The Lions will play it in their own end. Into the attacking end. Here's a chance. And that's stopped. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. And makes the save. From the back of the cage with the puck. And that carries off a stick. All of the officials were all over that trip. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. You can almost hear the sighs on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here, James. A tough position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Four-on-four -four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Maine's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Moves it quickly over to Lambert. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Terigny. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. Play is called for offside. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Well, rivier has got a hold of the puck off the draw. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Quick pass to Beauregard. Maine's got a hold of it along the wall. Goaltenders at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Well, Riviere's penalty has now expired. And even when you're on a power play, you have more time and space, but you have to have urgency, and there is none on that PP sequence. This group has to figure out a way to generate. Maine's got the puck against the half wall. Broken post! Comes up with the stop. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. The Lions take it along the wing. Line change. Poked away in the offensive end. Cover the slot. Denies him in close. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Well, Riviere's put a lot of pucks on net so far here in this first period, but they still find themselves trailing late. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. First 20 minutes of play is in the box. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. They just haven't been able to capitalize as they continue to trail. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Takes the pass. Jabs the puck away. Grabs the puck. Routine pass saved me by Stark. Oh, they do it again. They make some consecutive saves there. He's got to be wondering where his defense are. I mean, how about a little help? Lots of time left in this period. The Mariners have taken a 1-0 lead. The Lions take possession off the faceoff. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. That goes off a twig. The Lions scoop it up along the boards. Rips it, and he blocks a shot. Great defense. 
a play. My goodness, this has been a pressure-filled shift here. And finally, they get it out of the run end, and here they go in transition. Takes the puck. Moves it to Askew. Swing and a miss. Crosses the puck loose. The Lions move it ahead. Chase in front. Only oh, comes up with a stop. Now a quick pass to Mark. Oh, and another save. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Maine's got it in their own zone. Puck picked up in the open ice. Puts it on net. Oh, I think that paint of glass got busted after the shot as the whistle blows the play dead. That was a blast of a shot. It just shows how strong the glass is and the technology, the new technology today, James, is it just spiders. But it has to be replaced because it's always about safety first. Hammers one at the net. Just wide. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Trois Rivieres got it in their own zone. Parker Jones brings it in. Sends it out front, and that's off target. And he slides it quickly to Tournier. Borgard's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Here's a chance. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. Quick feed to Tournier. Knowles lugging the puck. Here's a shot, and that goes off a of body. The Lions will play the puck from behind the net. Looking for space inside the D zone. Slides the puck over to Mary Say Ortiz. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. And it's a quick pass to Lambert. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Verbenich. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Trois Rivieres gained the line and into the zone. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Maine's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Especially teams in particular power plays, they can create so much momentum, but when you don't execute, it can really go the other way in favor of your opponent. It's really disrupted the flow of the game. they got to get back on track. the zone. Maine's looking to break out. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Gets it over to Kyle. The Mariners take it along the wall. Shot! Big save in front. No way the official single and a goal. Unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. Maine's on a roll tonight. Now they've extended the lead to two. They're on a roll, and you can see it in their body language, the way they're communicating on the bench. When you're winning and you're feeling it, everything's alive. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. The Mariners played along the wall. The Mariners gain control of the puck against the wall. Sends it to the middle. Misses the net. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Nice feed from the right wing. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Here comes the call. The Mariners are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Chance here on the man advantage. 
Well, James, the power play has not been good tonight. It can be very frustrating, but you have to reset, refocus, because even if you don't score, it can create some much-needed momentum. And the puck has moved to a safer spot on the ice. Slides it diagonally to Parker Jones. Gaining momentum along the boards. Here's a short pass to Borgon. And he was ready for that save. Receives the pass. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. And that's picked away by Borgon. Here's a chance to get it out. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Parker Jones plays it against the boards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And the puck's booted away. Moves it quickly over to Mominy. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Here comes the call. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit. And you know what? They are taxed. They are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but you can also pop out below the ball. away! Scores! Absolutely critical finish on the breakaway! All the way down the ice, James. The ability to get away from the pack, look over his shoulder, know where everyone is, and then that clean finish. Unbelievable goal. The Lions needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Scores! And that one going off the defender for an own goal. PK unit always wants to manage the game. They're down a goal, and they just want to make sure that the deficit doesn't grow. And instead, they wind up with a shorty. They wind up with the equalizer and a huge momentum boost for their team. Ducharme's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they win that neutral zone draw. Askew's going to play it against the half wall. And stops that big bomb. Kyle's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you got to be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Slick feed. Puck clears the zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Mains moving it up the ice. And that's poked away by Thomas. Mains got a hold of the puck now. Still has possession. Sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Mains' power play is over. What a disaster as they give up a shorthanded goal. Well, after you give up a shorty on a power play, the next shift is critically important. Finding a way to get back and dictate pace. Coaching staff knows that they need some energy. This next shift is critical. Past the halfway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. Trois-Rivières got it in the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Terigny. He got all of that hit on the play. He's a power forward and part of his... And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift, and you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position, really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it.
Trois Rivieres got to find a way to build off this one goal lead now here, Cheryl, in the back half of period number two. Well, it's essential that they do, and they can't be comfortable with this lead because they haven't been strong the entire game. They haven't managed the puck, and they certainly haven't held possession. So they got to find a way to attack on their toes and put their opponent on their heels. Takes the feed. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. A centering chance! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Sheehy. Sends the pass over. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Takes a shot. Sterrett's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. In the final moments of this period, Trois Rivières has been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing a penalty. the face-off circle they'll send the man advantage unit out again well they haven't scored on the power play yet man it is a tough thing to do and this is an earned opportunity they practice they know what they're doing it'll come quick pass to Bowman in. good positioning there to knock it away with the glove a chance in front there's another stop i'm not sure where the defense is but i'll tell you what the goaltender has been outstanding As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Face-off coming up, and Cheryl, a critical one at that for both sides here. Well, you know that the goaltender is extremely fatigued. I mean, just look at the last shift. I mean, in their own zone, finding ways to get the puck out. And, of course, the opponent just owning play, hemming them in, and finding ways to get the puck to the net. So they got to continue that pressure. And if you're on the goaltender's side, you got to make sure you get it out of the zone and give him some rest. Martin's got the puck in his own zone. Moves it to Bowman Scores on the man and finishing from one hole. And this is exactly why you spend so much time in practice working on specialty teams, James. You can see that good movement to open up lanes, just disrupt the box there, and they're able to cash it in. Oh, when you see one go in like this, it is extremely deflating. You work so hard in the game of hockey, and then this one goes in awful. Below the goal on tight angle. This one's got to be saved. Trois Rivieres has been the dominant team all night. And look at this, a two-goal lead here late in the second. Yeah, they've worked hard, and really they've been the dominant team. And what's shown on the scoreboard is exactly the way it should be. And they'll be heading into the intermission. And this is one of the things I didn't like as an athlete. When you were playing well, I didn't want to rest. I wanted to keep going at it. Made the save on the play. He was totally locked in on that play. And the puck's knocked loose. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. The Mariners take it across the blue line. Quick feed to Askew. The Lions look to start the transition game. Here they come up along the wing. Slides the puck down low. Feeds it down low. Big stop just as time expires in the period. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period. Don't go anywhere. Join us for our next team practice, which will be open to the public. Admission is with all time to drop the puck here in period number three. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. 
Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Lions are in the lead in the third period. It's been an entertaining game of hockey, but it's all about the offense and how much you can generate sky-high numbers off the charts, but zero defensive metrics on display. And just a little too high for long range. Well, you got to hit the net there. Give your team an opportunity to get a rebound and, most importantly, retrieve the puck. They saw coming up here. They were buzzing moments ago. Yeah, they really were, and it's a tough spot for the goaltender. Everyone else can change, but he can't. He's got to outbattle his opponent now. Well, Rivier is going to start with the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Uses the force on that hit. The Mariners carry the ball. Consistent presence in the crease chains. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Big play inside the defensive zone. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Maine's got the puck along the boards. Great pressure to force the trouble. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Askew's got it to the side. Here's a short pass to Noel. Mauricio Ortiz moves the puck. Exploring options from behind his own net. Trois Rivieres got it against the boards. Shot! And that's off target as it hits a body. The Lions play it along the boards. Change up, change up. Shot! Attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Takes a wrist shot and turns it away. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Lions lead it 4 2. The Mariners win the draw on their own end. Trois Rivieres got possession of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Larry Sayortiz. Maine's playing it through center. Change up. With possession along the wall. Here's a chance behind the net. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And that's intercepted by Gay. Fires it on that. Turns him away. A chance. And that goes on the stick somewhere in traffic. And he loses control here. Oh, what a save on that play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Play continues here, but this crowd's still buzzing after what we saw. What a stop that was. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're saying thank you to the goaltender right now, James. They're still on their feet. They're electric right now. And really, it's a nice feel. Trying to get a step. He's clear. Scores! Clinical. Well, this breakaway is perfectly executed, James. He knows his bread and butter is his great shot. He sees an opening and he takes it.
they scored earlier tonight, and that gives you so much confidence heading into this one. You know how you execute it the first time. They'll look, be looking for those same openings. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly, and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. They move the puck out of harm's way. While Rivier is on the attack. Takes the shot. Oh, a reactionary save! Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Noel's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. From the point, they take control of it. Tremendous stop by Stark. Great reflexes, another save. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Beauregard's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Bowles won the draw here in the defensive zone. And they get the puck out of harm's way. One last rush here on this power play. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable lead and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. Parker Jones has the puck against the half wall. in the dressing room right after this game. Trois Rivières' attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The Lions win the draw here in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. The Mariners move it in. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Broken up that side by Richie. Fires it. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Here's a chance, and it banks off a stick in traffic. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Oh, puts it wide. Too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Through center along the wing. And the puck sails into the bench, forcing a stoppage of play. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Mains won the draw in the neutral zone. Into the corner now. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Takes a spill out of the ice and loses the puck. Moves it quickly over to Peterson. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Puck shot! Stopped by the goaltender. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get. And he challenges, he's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. The Lions wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. Grabs it in his own end. The Lions move the puck in the defensive zone. 
Trois Rivieres across the blue line. The Lions will play it against the boards. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. Picks up the puck in his own end. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Grabs possession of the puck. Shot! Oh, what a close save by Verbenic! The Lions have been a lot of fun to watch tonight. Lots of offensive scoring chances, and they have capitalized late here in this third. Beauregard's won the draw here in their own zone. Picked up along the wall by Parker Jones. Bois Rivière's got the puck against the boards. Big time save! Oh, my goodness! Well, throw technique out the way. Oh, the save on the play! What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Knowles won it off the faceoff. From the left side, takes the pass. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Turns that one away. And they're off to the races for the loose puck. Great burst of speed to come up with it. Maine's got a hold of the puck. Grabs it in his own end. Quick pass to Horvath. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. The Lions are just minutes away from closing out this blowout. They have had plenty of scoring opportunities and have maximized most of them. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Martin's taking it from his own end. Takes the feed. Pass behind the net. Takes the feed. Here they come on the attack. Moves it in front. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Puck battle along the boards. Wrist one in front. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Handles the puck. The lane was blocked up and that shot's blocked. Moves the puck to Noel. There's the final horn and this one's in the books. A complete team effort tonight, and as a result, Cheryl, they've gone up in the series. Yeah, it's got to feel good to go up in the series and have a leg up on your opponent. Now it's about continuing to do exactly what got you into this position. Continue with the good habits and continue to press. Well, what a night of hockey, and the intensity will only continue to ramp up at the next playoff game, and we will see you all then here at EA Sports.